What's up guys, it's your boy Christian here back at you for Sneaker Talk with a brand new Nike Outlet vlog. Right now we're in Harajuku, but we're not gonna be here for long. We're heading over to the Odaiba Outlets for the Nike factory store, and I actually don't have any Wi-Fi for this trip, so hopefully I get there without any problems. I do have the direction screenshotted on my phone, so it should be good. With that said, we are coming to an end for the Japan vlogs for this month. Hope you guys have been enjoying them. This is probably going to be one of the last few so if you guys have missed the previous vlogs, please check them out. I'll leave the Japan playlist vlog linked in the description down below, right on top of the Yeezy giveaway. into a very big dilemma right now. I'm supposed to get on the psycho line right here, number four, but it's currently out of service. Now I have no idea how to get to this Nike outlet. I'm gonna have to try and figure it out and ask for help. Yo, I am so freaking lost and I have no idea what I'm doing. I hate you Dennis Colin and Natty for not giving me Wi-Fi. I am this blue dot right here at Shimbashi Station and I have to try and figure out how to get all the way over here. Bruh. Uh. <laughs> I needed that train. Found something beautiful. Odaiba station is where I gotta go. Found this sign and uh, it looks like I can hopefully follow all these blue signs and it takes me to Odaiba. Let's keep it going. So I got some more guidance as to where I'm supposed to go. Um, I do think now is a good moment to let you guys know that I did book tickets to the Philippines for September. So I'm flying to the Philippines in September. I will be there for three weeks. But I'll, uh, I'll tell you guys more about that trip later. Now I gotta find the right station to get to, which is the Yuri Kamon line. It looks like I have to keep going straight. Please, man. Odaiba station and the second I step outside people are running people are running right now everybody's all going towards this one area trying to get a glimpse of some fireworks there's some fireworks happening right now you can sort of see there's also some sort of like light show they're flashing lights on these buildings and the camera might be able to pick up the sounds there's also like this weird music being played too Odaiba in general, it's so beautiful around here. It definitely makes up for my very, very stressful, uh, hectic journey to get here. Uh, I think it's for this thing called Star Island. There's like entries and everything you have to pay to get in, I think. So we have about an hour and 20 minutes left until the outlets close. So uh, let's head over to the outlets now and see what they got. Venus Fort Outlets, that is where we need to be. And check it out, there's a freaking Ferris wheel at this outlet. How dope is that? So there's a bunch of shops over there. And we're gonna walk across this bridge right now to get to the outlet.
Okay, this is pretty sick. It's like a circle kind of thing going on. We got the Puma outlet here. There's the Nike. The Nike's down there, I think. Nike outlet. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Okay, right off the bat, I feel like I like this Nike outlet a lot more than the other one I was at earlier this trip. At this outlet, we actually got a variety of sneakers that are on the shelves with multiple sizes, and they also have a hash wall in the back. Got some $80 Air Max 90s right here in this black and red colorway. Got some Air Max TNs for about 110 US dollars. These are pretty cool. A quick strike colorway of the Air Max 98 going for 13,000 yen. Lots of different textures going on with this sneaker and lots of mini swooshes on it too. Nike Air Max 1 anniversaries for 13,000 yen. Lots of sizes available. It's this like teal and grape. You could call it sort of like a grape colorway. Got some premium Nike Air Max 1 pinnacles. Got this like jewel swoosh on the Air Max 90. Don't see that too often. I've seen this jewel swoosh on the Air Force Ones before though. Got this like lavender kind of colorway for about 11,000 yen. Air Max 90. I've seen these pretty much everywhere. I don't even know if these are on sale or not. Got this black and bone colorway of the Nike Air Hirachi Drifts for 9,000 yen. So about 80 US dollars. Got the black colorway Air Zoom Mariah flying it for about 90 US dollars. Ooh, this is cool to see. We got this like Raptors colorway of the Nike Flyknit Trainer for 13,000 yen. They also got two other colorways as well. They got this purple one here for about 100 US dollars. And they even got this olive colorway for about 100 US dollars. Some Nike Dunk Flyknits for 8,000 yen. Got the red colorway here too. On to the foam posits. We got the Air Force One foam posit cup, 14,000 yen. Not too crazy about these. We also got this crazy green colorway of the foam posit, 18,000 yen. So that's about 100 and 60 US dollars for these. Every single size of manageable is in stock. They also have the gold colorway here too for about 160 US dollars. We got the mid top version of the SFAF ones in this black and gum colorway for about 80 US dollars. These are different. The Air Hamara 17 Premium. It's like a Nike hiking boot of some sort. It's really, really wild. And then here's a different colorway of the exact same sneaker going for about 110 US dollars. Here's a look at their pathetic Air Jordan. Jordan selection. No retros, unfortunately, but this is what is at the Venus Fort Nike outlet. And just for good measure, here are the rest of the Jordans. No heat none once so ever. So those were all the men's sneakers on the shelves. Now let's check out the hash wall and see what they have on discount. The random sneakers that slip between the cracks. Hopefully they got some heat. In Japan they always have the sizing as centimeters right here. So size 10 is 28 centimeters. So we're gonna be over there with this big big section that I will go through right now. Also if you look really closely the biggest size sneakers this outlet actually has size 11. You will not find any sneakers at this outlet higher than size 11 unless it was like a return of some sort. And well, that's because you probably know that Japanese people, like most Asian people, have very small feet. I'm size 10. I'm half Filipino. If I was full Filipino, would I have smaller feet? Maybe. Anyways, time to dig through these releases. We got size 10 Air Jordan 1 high premiums for 90 US dollars. This like nylon and suede colorway. Not really crazy about these. They also have them here in this like red and gray colorway too. These are both 90 US dollars. Oh, these ones are going for 70 US dollars while the black colorway is going for 90 US dollars. Ah, we got some Air Jordan Spizikes right here. This black colorway going for about 120 US dollars. I think this is one of the OG colorways. A ton of GR stuff like the Tailwinds. We got some uh, free runs of course. Air Force One low fly nets in this peach colorway going for about 90 US dollars. Got some Air Max 90s for 90 dollars in this white and red colorway. I think I found the best sneaker at this Nike outlet for 90 US dollars. These beautiful things, Nike Air Max 1 Pinnacles with that jewel swoosh, 90 US dollars. Clean, clean, clean black and white colorway. Here is the price tag if you don't believe me. This is a really good find. I honestly might have to pick these up. On that note, let's look for the best sneakers for $100 or less. This is a woman's colorway of the Nike Air Max 95. It's a premium release with this like patent leather going on all over the upper. Pretty cool. This is going for 110 US dollars. Got this like khaki olive colorway of the Air Max 90 for $90. This might be the cheapest Air Jordan we find at the outlets. Only 50 US dollars for this black colorway. Air Jordan 1 mids. But look at that toe box though. That toe box looking a little creased up. I think this might have been a return or someone tried these on and really, really tried them on. Like messed up the toe box area. Both of the shoes seem to be like that. That's too bad. $50. This would have been a steal if it was in perfect condition. Can't go wrong with the Nike Air Flight Classic for about $50. 
8 US dollars in this clean black and white colorway. This looks pretty good. Air Jordan 5 camouflage and these are going for about 135 US dollars. Not too, too much of a steal. If these were $100, I might have bought these, but 135 is still a pretty good deal. And they have a lot of those Air Jordan 5s, like so many pairs. All of these are size 10 and 10 and a half. Lots and lots of sizes left. That's basically it for the size 10 sneakers. Now we're gonna go through the hash wall for the other sizes that they have here. There might be something better, but it's not gonna be my size, so I'm probably not gonna buy it. This looks pretty cool. The Air Max 1 Royal SE. This black and white colorway honestly reminds me of the Air Max 1 The 6. That is for, you know, Toronto, but um, this doesn't have that branding. It looks pretty cool though. I'd buy it if it was my size, but it's size nine and a half. And they want about 80 US dollars for this pair. Got this woman's colorway of the Nike Hirachi. Size 10 woman's Nike Hirachi in this premium colorway for about 45 US dollars. Couple size nines of these Air Jordan Spizikes. I've been seeing a ton of these Blazer Lows for 72 US dollars. Unfortunately, they just have them in woman's sizes. Sizes like six all the way through nine. Now we're into the woman's section. They got these Air Jordan 1 Retro High Premiums for about 100 US dollars. We got some swooshlish, swooshlish, swooshlish. Damn it, I can't say it right. Swooshlish Air... <sighs> this is embarrassing. All right, we got the Air Jordan 1s with no swoosh for about 100 US dollars. Red colorway. We got these. These are crazy. Air Force 1 Low Luxes. I wish they had these in my size. About 90 US dollars. It's got this like crazy holographic kind of print all over. Got this weird texture as well on the swoosh. Do they have my size? Size 9 is the biggest they have. That's a size 7.5. These Air Force 1s are straight fire. Nike, please release them in men's size. Holy cow, this is a massive Nike duffel bag. They only want 30 US dollars for this. I'm tempted to grab it so I can store a bunch more clothing that I buy tomorrow before I head back home to Canada, but I think it's a little bit too big. So that's gonna wrap up our time at the Nike outlet at Venus Fort. We're gonna keep on going through this outlet mall though. See what else they have. I did see an All Saints outlet, so I'm hoping that they have some stuff in my side. And uh, they're actually cool with me recording in this mall. The employees at the Nike outlet were cool. Even the security is letting me film. Why can't Canadians, Canadians and Americans, why can't you let us do this vlog life like they let us do in Japan? And apparently it's also really illegal or against the rules to be like filming people out in public without permission. But I mean, no one's ever come up to me and said they didn't want to be on camera. If anything, the Japanese people like to be in the vlogs. If anything, they come up to me and say what's up. We're going to keep looking for some stores and maybe find some steals and deals as my boy Tim would say. Ooh, water fountain. <laughs> This mall definitely reminds me of the mall in Las Vegas. I think it's called Caesars Palace or something like that. Tim, legit vlogs, he brought me there when we were in Vegas. And I think it has something to do with uh, the ceiling. The ceiling having like this cloud, cloud kind of print to it. Nothing over here. Let's keep it going back to the other side of the mall. <laughs> So we're at the Puma outlet right now, and not too much compared to the other Puma outlets I've seen. I got the Sugi Netfit right here, this black and red colorway, or black and orange, regularly about $100. Now it's going for $35. They also got it in this gray and blue colorway. Shout out to uh, Puma, they gave me this colorway. These are pretty cool. Puma Ignite Evo Knit Folds for about 40 US dollars, down from 150. Got this crazy white colorway. You can like fold the sock here, I guess. Is there a little strap here? Yeah, so you can get the little latch here if you wanna button it down or you can have it flipped up that true true over-the-top sock like design sort of reminds me of like a metapod the way it's shaped and then they also have a black colorway here too for that same price of 40 us dollars got some mastermind japan here this is pretty dope they got a few t-shirts all these t-shirts are about 300 us dollar each we got the famous skull print these are actually pretty dope but 300 us dollars is a bit much for me pretty dope denim jacket we have here regularly priced at 240 us dollars now it's going for 110 it's like this gray fade and then it has has this corduroy accent on the collar. All the t-shirts they have here are regularly priced at $100 and they're all on sale for 60% off. So you're looking at $40 shirts now. They're really, really high quality and the fit is awesome. Lots of denim to choose from, 60% off. The denim is anywhere from $200 to $300, so pretty good savings right here as well. They have a lot of these like sweatshirt kind of t-shirts. The quality is crazy on these, very thick, not ideal for summer. Regularly priced at $170 US dollars. Now they're going for about $100 
710, which is some pretty good savings. Pretty dope jackets they have here. This one was regularly priced at 750, and now it's 60% off. It's like this new buck suede material all around. Insane, insane quality. It's so freaking soft. Here's some more jackets that they got around the $700, $800 price point, and they have 60% off. This one here too, in this like wheat kind of color. This is pretty dope. It's like that Saint Laurent Paris kind of jacket, black and white. Really nice satin material. Really tempted to grab this. What's the price on this here? Retail price of about 500 US dollars. It's 60% off. Your boy's gonna have to try this on. So this is a small jacket and it is a little bit small. I love the way it looks though. Frig, this is really dope. All right, your boy. Yeah, boy might have to cough. So we just finished shopping at the Venus Ford outlet. We picked up some items from All Saints. Also, shout out to the All Saints employee at Venus Ford outlets for hooking it up with a slight discount. I do appreciate it. Next up, I gotta grab some dinner then head home back to Harajuku. I need some food though, so let's grab some dinner. Yeah.